the Chemistry of Life Processes graduate training program supports first and second year graduate students as they get going in their PhD research. I was really drawn to the CLP training program because it is interdisciplinary. The simulating conversations you can have, my projects have grown unimaginable. CLP has made me a more well-rounded scientist and has also made me more aware of all the opportunities that are available to us at Northwestern. In addition to chemistry and biology, we also have engineering students and students from our medical school. And it's really a remarkable experience to be able to have hands-on experience in these collaborative areas. We've had over 35 trainees and 54 publications has resulted from that. And so we're young but rising quickly. There's several different programs that act as feeders that includes the IBIS program, the chemistry graduate program, the Driscoll program, bioengineering, chemical and biological engineering. We say we hunt in packs. That is to say that we team up and professors join forces to go take on bigger problems with direct societal benefit. So as an example of that, the graduate students, they have two mentors. They're really driving the interface between two or in some cases more labs. My background is in molecular and cellular biology, and my mentors speak the languages of chemistry and engineering. So it's been a really immersive experience. In terms of what sets the CLP training program apart, one of them is the PI. I mean, Rick Silverman has uh, had a massive impact in biomedical research. Rick Silverman co-invented Lyrica, and it's a blockbuster drug. In fact, we're in Silverman Hall, and that's the home for the Chemistry of Life Processes Institute. CLP is the mothership for bringing the chemists and biologists and engineers together. We are designing new molecules. We're really trying to tackle important problems in neurological, neurodegenerative diseases, cancer, cardiovascular problems. My research is focused on developing different microscopy techniques for studying the distribution of cancer treatment within the tissue. So I was trying to create a nanoparticle that decreases inflammation, trying to understand how the chemistry of my particle affects where it travels to in the body. I'm, I'm very interested in finding out the connection between post-translational modifications of proteoforms, how they come together with other proteins to form stable complexes and macromolecular machines. I mean, they're here to get a thesis. That's the goal of graduate research. So let's get busy. There is this really strong focus on robustness, rigor, and reproducibility. And so study design, all the things in executing basic research and translational research, those are elevated and there's all sorts of training opportunities. At the end of my first year of graduate school, I had done rotations in a molecular biology lab, a chemistry lab, and a biomedical engineering lab. It was easy for me to see how the fields could fit together. Understanding what you can do as a researcher and the skills and the, the type of information you can gain from plants and from fungi and from bacteria. These tools and these resources, proteomics, genomics, metabolomics, lipidomics, it connects you with a wide range of departments and both the students and the professors and even the core facilities. You actually end up getting a lot of advice on your project. You've built this relationship with this person and you know that you can always go back to them with questions or with new samples. The program hopefully will then train these students to go out and become independent scientists and not just focus in a narrow area. That they'll be able to understand what they need to have accomplished in order to get research done. And this training program allows the students to see what that process is, starting from making a molecule and bringing it all the way through to clinical trials. All of the career panels that I've attended through CLP have given me a better appreciation of how broad industry really is and how many different careers you can have within that. The opportunities to interact with scientists that work in industry and who are entrepreneurs and venture capitalists, allowing me the opportunity to host a panel, how we encourage women to stay in academia. 
academia seems much more accessible to me, having the support system of CLP. We have everything we need here at Northwestern. We'll have many therapeutics uh, and diagnostics coming onto the market, resulting from this fantastic collaboration among chemists, biologists, and engineers.